just don't see the point of going to the police station again. They more or less said that Casey's not done it. That was last night. There might have been developments since then. They would have said if they had. Well, there's nothing like making sure, is there? Give me a ring if you want me to pick Josh up, Claire. Oh, well, thanks, Mum. We'll just leave it till this afternoon. What's the point of that? Just so they can make a few more inquiries. Well, I'm sorry, but I can't wait that long. Right, well, ring me if there's any news. Oh, I will. Deal with it in her own way. See you later, Yvonne. All right. I thought you had to have a good credit rating to flag six grand off the bank. Well, I got a mortgage for number seven, didn't I? Yeah, but how much will repayments be? Well, I'll soon find out, won't I? Look, I've got to do something, otherwise Carla's going to think I'm not committed anymore. What if she's not committed anymore? <laughs> well, she's got no choice because we've signed up for it now. See you later. Oh, poor Mr Connor yesterday. Everyone were having a right go with him. I hope he's feeling better today. Can't be easy for him. Oh, mind you, it would be nice not having to run the place by myself. <laughs> I'll bet. Mm. There's one thing telling him to, like, get a move on every now and again, but running the show without him to back me up. It requires a, a toughness that you really don't have. Who oh, wants? I don't think either of us is blessed with natural authority. What's that? A letter for you. Who's this from? Mm. I don't believe it. What? From Mr Connor. He's gone away again and left me in charge. Where, where, when will he be back? Well, there's no mention of it. Doesn't say where he's going or how I can get hold of him. Well, I'm sure you'll cope. Oh, excuse me a minute ago. I won't cut out for it. I, I didn't actually say that. Not tough enough. No authority. I was merely agreeing with you. The truth is, you're the best from the available workforce. The best of a bad bunch, you mean? Well, thank you very much, Roy, for the vote of confidence you've made me day. Morning. Morning. Hey, I can look after Ryan for you if you want today. No, it's all right. Why not? I'll give you a break. I'd rather keep an eye on him, if I'm honest. If he is still bottling it up, I want to be there when it does come out. A watched part. Yeah, but one you don't watch boils over, doesn't it? What are you doing? I'm going to school. No, Ryan, it's too soon. The thing I'm seeing in that manky back room at the pub again, all doom and gloom. I want to see my mates get back to normal. Well, are you sure you're ready? Yes. Well, all right, but you come home for your dinner. <sighs> I need to know that you're OK. I'll ring if I'm not. Look, you either come home for your dinner or you stay with me all day. Please, Ryan, for me. OK. He's not gone away again. I'm afraid so. Oh, that's a pity. Yeah, just when things are settling down, eh? I oh, know, well, I feel the same. So where's he gone? We didn't say. And how long for? No idea. Look, he just left me a note on the keys. Of the... What, so you're in charge again? I didn't ask for it, believe me. Uh, no, no, no. That's a good thing. I mean, at least we've got somebody who knows what we're doing. Yeah, and somebody we respect. Well, we managed last week when you were away, didn't we? There's no reason why it should be any different. I mean, I know it's going to be a bit harder because he didn't have to any instructions, but he's dropped us right in it. What if we all pull together? Aye, aye, Captain. All hands to the pump. Oh, Sean's a jolly sailor, didn't you know? You were in the Navy, Sean? <laughs> 20 years, man and boy. Oh, don't listen to him, Vicky. Look, can we just get on with it, please? We do have quite a bit to do, yeah? <laughs> yeah, yeah, come on, girls. Let's knuckle down. I mean, we've, we've had us laugh, haven't we? Mm. Come on, then. What order is it, Ellen? The court in order, please, everybody. The court in order is it. Morning. Mrs Peacock. Any news? Like I said yesterday, I'll be in touch when there's something more to tell you. There isn't. So what cock and bull story did she feed you? It's all lies, whatever it is. I think we'll be the judge of that, thank you. She came round to us, you know. After she'd left here. Shouting the odds, playing the little games. 
You didn't see that side of her. What kind of games? She's not the innocent she makes out. So, do you wish to make a formal complaint? I already have. She tried to kill me, remember? Mrs Peacock, unless you've got something new to tell us, then... She is pulling the wool over your eyes. I appreciate this isn't the outcome that you wanted, but I'm sorry, we interviewed her at great length. There isn't enough evidence to hold her. She's not going to own up to what she did, is she? Like I say, we'll be in touch when we have anything. We want to find out who did this just as much as you do. Michelle. Morning. No, oh, Ryan. No, he insisted on going back to school. You'll be pleased to know. Oh, whatever. Uh, listen, if you're not ready to come... I'm ready. Right. What needs doing? Well, you could uh, put the ashtrays out. Right. Are you okay about him going back? I don't know. Perhaps it's for the best, eh? Maybe I'm just using him to try and forget about it all. Hey, kids are stronger than we give them credit for. I think you're doing really well. Maybe. Anyway, at least we won't have to be putting these out many more times. Something to look forward to. You're late. Well, there's no point in rushing. This I don't do it while I'm here. All right, Jason? Yeah, not bad. Any words of wisdom for me today? I can think of plenty. Bill. So, um, where are we going? You're not going nowhere, lad. Hey, how come? Because you've got a big job on and I don't want you messing it up. All right, cool. I'll get myself a cup of tea and a read paper. Oh, no, you won't, my lad. No, you're going to clean this yard up while we're away. You what? It'll take me all day, this? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, keep you out of trouble, won't it? I want it spick and span by dinner time. Any rubbish, throw it in the skip. You're going to earn your money today, lad. Understand? Nice one, big boy. Made up with that woman, then. What woman? That woman that was in the paper the other day. Casey? Yeah. Well, it came out of your house. You saw her? Yeah, I gave her a lift home in a cab. You know where she lives? Well, yeah. Where? Well, I'm not sure I'm allowed to say Steve! But... She tried to kill me. She kidnapped Freddy. She could come back and do it all again. Please, tell me where she lives. Phone, Aileen. Oh, not again. Right, that is me. Bit of window shopping and then a chip butty down precinct. How can you be so irresponsible, Keller? I don't enjoy it, Janice. It's an addiction. Do you know what? I think I might go and get myself a little tummy upset this afternoon after that dodgy pie I'm going to eat this dinner. Oh, Sean. Doesn't it bother you that the rest of us have to work twice as hard to make up for all your sky then? Well, let's work out a rota. Then we can take it in turns. Yeah, because then it's Kelly's back by two, I can have my tummy upset till three, and then I can come back and relieve someone else. Brilliant. See you later, girls. I might sprain my wrist on Monday if Mr Connor's not back. <laughs> Maybe I'll hurt my knee sometime. Hey, she's catching on, isn't she? <laughs> yeah, Mr Courtney, we're doing everything we can. The girls are working flat out as we speak. Right, I'm off. Uh, so I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Wait! Uh, dentist, did Liam not tell you? No. Oh, I arranged it with him yesterday. Yeah, I need a fill-in. Oh, I can't eat ice cream. It's murder. You'd better not be scarving, Kelly. No, no, don't be silly. Back after dinner, promise. Good to see you're not taking any nonsense from them, Hayley. I've got her address. Who's Casey? Yeah, Steve gave her a lift back yesterday. I'm going to go and see no, her. No, no, just hang on a minute. I want some answers from her. Well, don't you think that's going to make things worse? How? By letting her know she's not fooling anyone. And what are the police gonna think? We've been harassing them, we're stirring it up with her. Who cares what the police think? We've got to do something. Now, are you coming with me or what? I'll go on my own if I have to. Just give me five minutes till Kurt gets back. I'll see you back at the house. <laughs> All 
night, love. Yep. How'd it go? School went the same as it always does. Rebels can form in the end. It's called showing Bill what I'm really made of. Well, he'll be pleased by this. Yeah, I won't bank on that. Why not? Well, this is where he dropped her. What number is it? I didn't know. So what do we do now? We start knocking on doors. Are you sure about this, Claire? Unless you've got any better ideas. Well, I don't know what you're going to say that's not been said before. I hardly got a chance to say anything yesterday. She left before I could. Right, here goes. Hiya, um, sorry to bother you. We're looking for someone called Casey. Who? I don't know her surname. She's about 29, dark hair. Never heard of her, sorry. Have you seen anyone that looks like her? Well, you're not going to ring every doorbell. I certainly am. So, what have you got on this afternoon? Athletics. Cool. Paul was going to take me to a three A's meeting sometime. Well, we could go if you like. It's not the same, I know, I'm sorry. So, uh, how are you feeling about Paul now? Not you as well. How do I feel? How do I feel? It's all anybody asks me around here. That's why I went back to school. Get away from it. That's right, son. You get it off your chest. What? We've been waiting for this. Hey. I'd be act off with her and all if I was in your shoes. Uh, no, Vernon. Act off with who? Leanne. What a trollop. Why? What's she done? Come on, what's she done? Vernon, go and get Michelle. Sorry. I didn't realise. Vernon, just go and get Michelle. Come on, then. Ryan finished his dinner yet? Yeah. That is no. What's wrong? Uh, Steve wanted a word. What about? What's happened? Why can't you tell me what Leanne did? What have you been telling him? What's Vernon been telling him, you mean? Where they feel global security? Who the hell are they? Firm who are going to lend me six grand without asking too many questions. Well, I told you banks wouldn't want to know. API 35%? Shh. Janice, just be happy for me, will you? I'm going to tell that cow that I've got the money so the deal's still on. Well, I think you're heading for a fall. Mm -hmm. Blimey. What? I've just got a text from that Roger that I shacked up with in France. What does he want? Back in Weatherfield. Fancy meeting up? Come along. Ooh, hand a kiss. Get out. <laughs> well, what are you waiting for, then? Well, give me a chance to get over a shock. <laughs> Never expected to hear from him again. I thought you liked him. Yeah, well, I did. But I left him in the lurch, didn't I? Yeah, only because you were fed up of being away from home. Well, I don't think he quite saw it like that. Anyway, we've hardly been in touch since. Right. So what are you going to do, then? I don't know. Oh, yes, you do. <laughs> so that's it. In a nutshell. I'm sorry you had to find out like this. You mean you're sorry you can't treat me like an adult and let me know what's going on? Right, I didn't want you doing out stupid like you did when you found out about Sonny. Oh, right, you mean the other time when you couldn't tell me the full story? Don't blame your mum, right? Get off me, you're not my dad. 
I know. Just because you're going out with my mum? When I want another dad, I'll ask for one, and it won't be you. Right, where are you going? Back to school. Should have just let him have his dinner at school, shouldn't I? He had to find out sometime, eh? Hey? Yeah, not like this. Look, I'm sorry if he thinks I'm invading his space. I'm just trying to reassure him, you know. Yeah, well, he obviously feels strongly about it, so just leave him be, eh? He's not a bad kid underneath, it's just a matter of pressing the right buttons, eh? <laughs> what the? What do you think you're playing at? You were talking about to tidy up, didn't you? You've not sewn all the roofing timber up, have you? Well, you told me to put everything in the skip. You stupid! Bill, don't! Go on, Bill, get it off your chest. I yeah. dare you. Go on! Get out. Get out. So what, you sacking me? I can tell the difference between quality and rubbish if you can't. Bill, I just... I mean it! You could have caused yourself a serious injury, yeah? Is it... Is this permanent, Billy boy, or just another one of your little wobblies? I don't want to see your cocky little face in here ever again. Well, what about my wages? Get out, or I will do something that I will regret. All right, cheers. Ta-ta, boys. Claire, are you sure these are the right flats? That's what Steve said. Well, she could have got dropped off here, but live somewhere else. I'll knock on every door in the neighbourhood if I have to. What do you want? You turned up yesterday unannounced. We're repaying the compliment. Not that you've anything to hide. I've said all I want to say to you. Well, I've barely started. We can either do this out here, or we can do it inside. How did you find out where I live? Good job I did, seeing as you never told me. What did I ever do to you except show your compassion? Uh, rang the police because you thought I'd run off with your baby? When all I'd done was take him for a drive to get him off to sleep? That was a misunderstanding. I knew then you were crazy. I was right. I want answers. If I did what you think, why did I give myself up? Because you're clever. Because you've got a way about you that takes people in. And that's what guilty people do, is it? Some of them. So how do I know you're not guilty then? What? Well, you're very persuasive in your own kind of way. Pointing the finger at me when I'm completely innocent. How do I know you didn't do it? What? Kidnap my own baby and set fire to my own house? That's an insane idea. Is it? David tells me you've given him the sack. Too right I did, yeah. Can you tell me why? Oh, he didn't tell you then. Well, I came by at dinner time. He seemed hard at work to me. I bet he was. Sawing up 300 quid's worth of timber's a big job. He's lucky that I'm not asking him to pay for it. Why would he do that? Because he's a delinquent. Hey, he's not even trained to use an electric saw. He could have cut his hand off. You mean he did it on purpose? Yeah. He wanted to get himself sacked. And before you ask me to give him a second chance, I can't, Gail. I can't do anything more with him. He's yours from now on. You've really flipped if you think I could own my own son. Wouldn't be the first time you'd left Freddy in a park. In a car where I could see him. I was ill when I did that. That's the charitable explanation. Stop avoiding the question. I have told you I did not do it. That is a lie. Look, I've had enough of this. You keep saying these things about me. 
I'll get a lawyer. I'll sue. You'll sue? You've dragged my name through the mud. Because you did it. Why would I do it? Because you're mad. It's not me who's ranting and screaming, is it? You stop trying to twist things. I'm just trying to find a logical explanation. You have had it in for me for some time now, although why? I've never done you any harm. We both know you did it. Do you plan that trip away in advance, Ashley? Would have given her time to think it through. You can stop that now. It were you had a section. It's you? not me I who's know. crazy. You really hate me, don't you? I will get to the truth somehow. So God, I will. Come on, Ashley. I'm really sorry about this. She needs help, Ashley. Before she does it again. Jack Osborne's in training as we speak for Adrenaline Junkie 3. That's coming soon to ITV2. Next tonight, more testosterone from Vince and the gang in Entourage.